Just making a fist? Yes. We're going closer. Oh my gosh, her fingers are tiny. She's perfect. She's beautiful. My work here is done. Thank you, Kelly. I'll give you guys some time to admire your little creation. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. We created a real human being. Can I tell you something? Yeah. I knew it was a girl. Oh, you did, did you? Our little girl. Yeah, our little girl. <laughs> Are you disappointed? No. Listen to me. I have never been happier than I am right now. She's perfect. She's flawless. <laughs> this is by far the best thing we've ever made in our entire life. And, oh my God, she's a she. This... This is a disaster. Seeing Patrick dash out the OR to get to the ultrasound. How did it go? Let's see, the most beautiful baby ever, a miracle, perfect, like that. You've heard all this before? <laughs> don't get me wrong, I'm, I'm thrilled for Robin and Patrick. I mean, I don't know any other parents who have tried so hard to get it right. I was uh, supposed to go straight back to work, but I have to know, is Robin having a boy or a girl? As far as decorating the nursery? I'd be thinking pink. Oh, yes, I can't wait to tell Mac. He'll be really excited that he can start worrying early because there's another girl in the family that he can fret over, or brag about, and be really strict with. Excuse me. Don't even act like you aren't just eavesdropping. It's called work. You should try it. You know, you don't even know Robin. You can't stand Patrick. So why do you care so much about their baby? How am I supposed to be a father to a little girl? How am I supposed to take care of her? I mean, what, what, what if she asks me for advice? Well, then you'll give it to her. But that's easy for you to say. You were raised a little girl. I was in the dirt track playing with go-karts. Well, maybe our little girl will play with go-karts as well, and I will teach her how to be strong and independent and think for herself, just like my mom taught me. See, that's exactly what I'm saying, Robin. You had a good example. Both you and your mom are strong, independent, powerhouse women. You still got your heart stomped on by self-centered jerks. We survived. We su My little girl deserves more than we survived. I mean, look at her. She's, she's perfect in there. <laughs> no. And then she's going to come out in the world and there's going to be guys lining up to take her out with bouquets of flowers and they're going to tell her that she looks good and that they like her and all that kind of stuff and the only thing they want is one thing. Okay. Uh, not to get technical, but our little girl is still in the womb. I don't think you have to worry about that hey, for a really long Christa, time. Like, you don't know how bad guys can be. As much of the dog you think I was, I was a million times worse and actually proud of it. I'm sure you're probably an expert at that. I am. I am. If any guy comes to our house to take our little girl out, any guy like me, I'm going to put her in a convent or I'm going to kill him. You know what? I'm going to do both. Lady Jane asked me to make a call. Uh, at 10th floor, Nurse Weber. That comes later. All we have to worry about now are dirty diapers and midnight feeding. Okay. 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 Uh, Dr. Dre, they need you in ER. I uh, had trauma. Uh, not even a moment to endure this. I'm sorry. See you later. Bye. Okay. Say goodbye. Bye. 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 Are you okay? Yeah. Yeah, I just uh, brought Spinelli in because he fainted from the heat. Oh. And that uh, that new doctor's taking care of him. Baby's getting big. Uh, isn't she? She? Yeah, we just did the ultrasound. We just found out. Oh, that's great. I'm, I'm so happy for you. <sighs> Thank you. I feel so blessed. I mean, I'm completely in love with Patrick. We're having a baby. Come to think of it, I don't think any of this would have happened if it wasn't for you.